A very good evening, friends. So today, uh, this is another one lecture, which is related to RFD, and it is known. Uh, now I am discussing again so that you don't get confused with RFD. So will be. This is a short lesson, but it is more focused on the impulse. So what is impulse, right? So the learning outcomes of this lecture will be. that what is impulse i have already discussed with you so i'll give i will go deep in this video lesson so that you, no confusion should be there how it is related to rfd rate of force development how it is related to momentum how it is utilized in the games like cricket or sprinting so every doubt regarding these two concepts will be very clear today when you go through this video lecture now what is impulse it is basically measure of your force applied for a specific time applied force for a specific time that's why we call it as impulse is equal to force into time and so is the units force is newton we measure force in the newton and the time in the seconds so the units of uh, impulse are newton seconds right it is an important concept in sport because many techniques like throwing activities require the performer to apply as large force as possible for good performance so basically if you are applying 5 newton force for 2 seconds so what will be your impulse simply 10 newton seconds on the other hand if you apply same force means 5 newton for 10 seconds then 5 into 10 50 newton seconds so just by changing the time keeping the force same you can modulate the impulse you can increase your pulse and this impulse is required in many games just take example uh there are two ways of increasing the impulse now it is very clear here you can say that i just uh, make it one like see impulse is force which you will apply multiplied by time now there are two players suppose one is who is stronger so stronger means he has done good resistance strength training so he can produce lot of force similarly the second player who is not that strong but he has to increase his performance so what he will do he will focus on that time because impulse is going to increase by both the factors either you increase force or either you increase time so increasing time is the way by technique you can increase that on the other hand if you have uh, strong enough have you have you have, you have undergone lot of strength training then automatically when you have undergone lot of strength what will happen at the ground level more stiffness that i discussed yesterday And here rfd comes into play so if your muscle tendons are more stiff then you are more stronger and then you can produce lot of force and that will compensate your again impulse because if in that case you will apply produce more force in less time then time doesn't matter then only this factor of force will make your impulse high so in the throwing games in many activities you need more impulse high impulse so so to uh, to get that thing you need either you need high rfd this is the more solid way to get it because if you do the strength training you become more strong so you automatically you produce more force or you go for technique so this is not so common but it is utilized being utilized by the some players so that they can have more impulse so i hope it is very clear now now i'll tell you 
something uh, mathematically about the how it is the thing just you will get very simple in your minds so simply impulse is your force into time so this mathematical I'll let you know how it is different from RFD okay so this you all know force is in is in the Newton's time we measure in the second so this becomes Newton second and this is your impulse right now what is RFD RFD is peak force over time okay this, this is the difference so here we have force over time and this force is the one which is the highest peak and at that particular time okay and here we have force into time so this is the main difference between the two however if you have this thing in you by doing the training you can automatically compensate for this because if you have a higher FD and the skilled and light players have this property they have high RFD so that they can utilize this high RFD property to increase their impulse if they require in their games so this is the mathematical relation uh, or I can say that how it is related I was saying that so in this way RFD is related to impulse because if you have RFD property you have high you have ability to produce high RFD high rate of force development why at the ground level you are more stiffer because of your uh, ballistic training and resistance training so these have made you more stiffer at muscles and tendons and this and recruitment of uh, that high speed muscle fibers and your neural drive all these three factors by training have made your RFD very high and now using this you can do a lot of force and hence you can increase your impulse so this is the mathematically way to understand the things now I let you know how it is related to momentum for that you should remember Newton's second law so it tells us simply that force is equal to mass into acceleration so I'll, I'll have one lecture where I'll discuss all these laws because you already told that we know these so I have skipped that but I will make it uh, in the next week or so so that you can understand the laws uh, all three Newton laws so I hope you know that but I will take one lecture so that you become more focused on that so this is according to second law mass into acceleration right now I'm coming to the gain impulse part now suppose there is a ball with mass m and it is moving with the speed v1 in this direction now you apply force to this ball so force is what push or pull so you have pushed it so now it will again move mass will remain same with greater velocity towards this direction and this is your v2 right now driving from this force is equal to mass into acceleration so acceleration is what we'll just put that value mass vf minus v initial over t right so this is your vf and this is your vi so in the next part we can say that we can shift time towards this so it will become time into force and here we'll have m vf minus vi so this you already know now we have discussed when you apply force for the t time force made by time is your impulse and here what we have got m vf minus m vi 
so that means what what do you uh, momentum is basically this this is known as momentum mass into velocity quantity of motion um, the the motion in the uh, the mass in the motion we can uh, we define momentum as mass in a motion that means mass into velocity so that means this is delta p change in momentum so this is another concept that your impulse is equal to change in momentum so when you applied the force what you have done you have changed the momentum so that change is also is equal to your impulse so this is another concept so simply the message here is that impulse is equal to exactly equal to change in momentum and this is the way it is related with the help of second law of motion okay so this is just for the understanding you should uh, know the theoretical concepts now how we can increase the impulse this is very important question how we can imp increase the impulse so th that i already discussed earlier so that just the uh, one is applying a greater force like in the cricket we take the example moving the arm faster so the one who who is stronger who has high rfd who has got stiffness who has good got good neural drive who is recruiting fast muscle fibers will automatically move his arm faster when he is bowling so which will definitely increase more force and high impulse so this is the one way that you understood second is applying a technique to increase the time so the force is remaining same but we have increased the time so that the product increases product of what force into time so we have in the technique we are increasing this time so what is the technique so in our for our, for our character beginning the throw with the arm fully back and then releasing as far forwards with final flick of the fingers so this is the technique which he is applying so that he can increase his time so by increasing time using less force he is again incre increasing his impulse so this was the concept i wanted to convey you by this short video lesson so that you can relate it with your rft similarly uh, one thing more i want to discuss uh, the graph thing so this is the last part so let me draw uh, graphically you should also know that this is the graph between the force and the time right so when you have applied the force suppose for this is the peak and this is the point where you have maximum force so what is impulse so area under this curve this whole area is known as impulse and what is rfd here so rfd is the peak force so this is your peak force and this is the time at which it is generated by your body so in this way you can on one graph you can get both the things so area under curve is your impulse and the peak force over time is your rft hope you understood thank you